Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a review on The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. This novel takes place inside of a really old prison. It's unnamed and you don't really know where exactly it is. You are following this unnamed narrator who is sitting on death row. You are sort of viewing various aspects of the prison through his eyes. You jump back and forth in terms of which characters in the story you're following. There is an investigator who is hired to help attorneys get their clients off of death row and so she is working a case in this prison for this prisoner named York who is someone who is on death row but he has actually said that he wants to die and he doesn't really want help in trying to get off of death row. It's that specific aspect that draws the investigator to this case. You're also following a former priest who works in the prison to you know provide counseling to the prisoners on death row right before they go to get executed. You also follow a couple other characters um, a couple other prisoners and the warden and other people like that. As I mentioned when I hauled this book, I picked this book up mainly because Jenny from Adulterous Books was pressuring me so hardcore to read this book. I saw her review on it when she originally posted it up. She gave it 5 out of 5 stars. She absolutely raved about it and I also saw Chels from Chels in a Book talk about it on her channel and the premise itself sounds really interesting to me. It's something that I thought I would like anyways but I didn't realize how much I would enjoy it until I was actually reading it. This is a relatively short book it's about 200 and some pages and I ended up reading the whole thing in one day. The writing in the story is just absolutely beautiful. There are so many phrases in here that I wanted to underline and quote. I posted one quote on my Instagram and I posted a separate quote on my Tumblr and very rarely do I post quotes from the books that I'm reading on my Tumblr or Instagram but this one had multiple quotes that I wanted to post about. I think that when you're dealing with things like prisoners and executions and death row inmates you are able to explore a lot of topics and themes that resonate with a lot of people. This book explores the ideas behind good and bad people and why someone might end up on death row and how it might not necessarily be their fault or it isn't entirely their fault the reasons why they end up there. It also just shows the kind of corruption that can happen in prisons. There's a lot of comparisons being made between this book and books like or movies like Shawshank Redemption and Dead Man Walking and Eight Mile and things like that and there definitely is that aspect of the story to it. I feel like anytime you're dealing with prisoners on death row those are all going to be comparisons that are made but this is definitely a story that stands on its own. This definitely has has a bit of magical realism to it so if that isn't something that you enjoy then you might need to prepare yourself for that if you plan on reading this book but I feel like it is something that kind of makes sense within the aspect of the story even though this is like a realistic story the way the magical realism is incorporated makes complete sense to me. I found all of the characters to be super fascinating. One of my favorite things in books is when authors create these complex characters and every character in this book is pretty complex. You see both the good and bad sides to them which is pretty impressive especially because again this is a relatively short novel but there's so much information and so much development that happens in this story or you get to see so much about these characters within such a short period of time which is probably another reason why I loved it so much. The author was able to provide so much information and depth and so few pages it kind of almost makes you wonder why there are books that are like 800 to a thousand pages long. I feel like there's so much I could potentially talk about with this book. I think there are a lot of really interesting layers that she slowly reveals throughout the course of the book that were really interesting. Just as a slight warning, obviously because this takes place in a prison and on death row and things like that, there are topics and scenes in here that are just really really tragic. Like there were times where I could feel my chest like constricting because of just the horrors that are described in this book. I would have to like stop, put my book down, go walk around for a little bit and then come back to the book because it's just so sad and just so heartbreaking and it just really makes you think a lot which is probably the best thing you can ever ask for in a book. A book that really makes you think about your own life and the world around you. And I feel like this is even such a topical read right now if you live in America. There was a really controversial situation having to deal with the death penalty in Oklahoma and sort of like an execution gone wrong and I won't talk too much about that but just having that new story in my head and then reading this book it just it's one of those worlds colliding perfect timing type of situations. In the end I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars which if you have been following me for a while you know that I only give out one or two 5 star ratings to books 
per year. So this is the one that gets it this year. There might be, you know, like one more later on this year, depending on what I read. I don't give out five stars lightly, so the fact that I'm saying that this is a five star book says a lot about the book itself. So yeah, I definitely recommend this book if you are someone who likes books that sort of challenge you and books that really make you feel something. If you're looking for something like light and fun and fluffy, this clearly is not the book for you. But if you want books that really make you think and really make you feel something, then this is a book you need to pick up. So yeah, those are my thoughts on The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. If you've read this book, feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know what you thought of it. I will also have some links down below to some other people who have reviewed this book. I feel like this is one of those books that needs a lot of attention and could potentially get a lot of like critical acclaim, but I haven't really heard a lot of people talking about it outside of the couple of booktube people I've seen who have read it. So I'm really hoping Hoping that this sort of like picks up steam and really gets some attention for people. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.